Good morning, Western Slope. Take a look at the beautiful sunrise we have this morning with those beautiful blue skies in play for today. We're going to have temperatures above the average for this time of year with drying up conditions throughout the day with a red flag warning in effect for potential fire weather for today. We're starting out at 61 degrees. We're expected to warm up quite rapidly from there as we get into the later morning hours, starting out at 11 miles an hour. A little bit of wind out there for this morning. That's expected to increase today as well. For the setup, though, we do have the same thing we've been seeing. That southwesterly flow coming off of the Four Corners regions in the southwest, really drying us off. All that air is very dry and very, very warm. So we got that warm air mass just still making its way through, bringing us up in the 90s. Summer's in full swing, you know, this whole shebang. But I did want to go ahead and point this out because this flow is really bringing us these fire weather conditions. For those winds, we are in between that 0 to 10 mile an hour range. Uh, highest is 11 miles an hour here in Grand Junction. They're starting out from the east, but they're expected to come from the west later on today. So that'll change up a little bit. As far as those red flag warnings that are in play, this was taken a few days ago, the Spring Lake fire. This is why I cannot stress the importance of this fire weather and these no burn advisories that are being issued. We have a red flag warning in effect from 11 a.m. through 8 p.m. today. So just be aware of open flames if you're around an open flame. Know your surroundings. Know what can potentially catch on fire faster. And then high wind speeds couple Coupled with those drier airs in the lower atmosphere really hike up those chances for potential fire. So definitely keep in mind that now we are under that warning for the entire western slope, parts of eastern Utah as well as we have all of that dry air and they've got a heat advisory over here south of Colorado Springs over to the east of the Continental Divide. For those pollens today, grass and mold are going to be the main culprit for your allergies. This has been trending this past week as well. And for those highs today, getting up in the 90s, we got 97 in Moab, 93 Grand Junction, 93 in Delta, everywhere else in the 80s. Higher elevation areas, Gunnison, Aspen remaining in those lower 80s. So really nice over there. And then for tonight, beautiful overnight conditions in the 50s and 60s for those overnight lows. So gorgeous summer like conditions in those over overnight hours and then for highs tomorrow same ballpark that we're going to see today so 93 grand junction 93 delta 97 moab and everywhere else expected to remain in the 80s for tomorrow's highs now we are a little bit above the average high for this time of year but i'm not really too worried about it because we're not even close to that 101 record high set just last year I'm getting used to these 90 degree temperatures, so I'm not necessarily ready for this 100 degrees yet, but we can see it maybe later on this week. And this is what I mean. Check out Monday and Tuesday, 100 degrees. So you better get used to these 90s while we still have it because we're expected to warm up after this weekend. Same thing for Montrose as well. They're just going to be a little bit cooler remaining in the 80s, but they're going to warm up to the 90s come after this weekend.